Hey guys, Tom here, I hope you're well. Here today doing a review of the Harley Street Bob. Uh, this bike's been kind of lent to me by the guys over at Harley Davidson in Maidstone. So if this bike you're interested, please do give them a shout. Um, so first time on the Street Bob uh, and enjoying the ride so far. So a few specs, uh, Street Bob starts at 12,295. Um, so it's a Milwaukee 8107, so that's 1746cc. 87 brake horsepower, delivering 145 uh, newton meters of torque. Uh, I think it's a great, great looking bike. Very distinctive with the uh, uh, handlebars being higher up like that, uh, which I am getting used to. So this is in the red. Um, the base price uh, is for the black version, which I think is the same for most of the Harley range. Uh, Someone in the comments can correct me if that's, that's different. So seat height of the bike, uh, 680 millimeters. Uh, that's 26.8 inches for those interested. 13.2 um, litre fuel tank on there with 43 mile per gallon uh, and the wet weight is 300 kilograms. But I think it's a, it's a nice looking bike. It's just getting used to it. Oh, and in terms of controls, we've got mid controls, just to mention, mid controls there. I think I prefer forward controls on this. I'm finding uh, with my uh, height and my measurements, I've got a 33 inch inside leg and I'm finding my leg is just slightly too bent at the hips, I would say, uh, for this. It makes it feel slightly cramped for me. Um, this has also got a stage one system on it as well. We've got the two brothers two into one exhaust, which I'll fire up in a second so you can hear how that sounds. Um, other things about this bike. So it's, the, it's got the new monoshock um, from 2018 models and onwards. That's when they had those um, and it's oil and air cooled. Let's start her up. So it's a keyless ignition. Um, so we'll start her up here. So I've got the key, oh, probably a little bit too far away actually. Let me just grab that. Uh, it's in my jacket, which I've left down here because it's a lovely hot day. Um, grab the key. So we'll fire her up. On the screen here, I've got a little LCD screen, so you've got your mile per hour gear indicator comes up as well. I've got the RPM underneath, fuel gauge on the left. You can change through various settings for this. Underneath as well, we've then got uh, neutral, uh, we've got our gear indicators, we've got a fuel light, uh, various other information, high beam here, oil, so on and so forth. Let's fire up. So it's just a push to the bottom. a rev. Good sounding. Oh, <laughs> funny wind down noise there. Good sounding, as you would expect from a Harley. That beeping there is the alarm going on as well, which is quite nice. I think it comes with alarm as, as standard. Also got underneath here, which I remember a little, um, uh, USB port underneath there, uh, which is obviously quite handy for you know setting up your phone or your sat nav or whatever if you wanted that mounted. But um, but yeah, good, good bike. I'm enjoying the ride of it. Like I say, the only odd thing for me is when I'm sitting here, you know, I've got my arms quite high up, which I'm not really used to, and it's. Um, I don't know if it's just a mental thing. It's just making me feel the bike isn't as flickable into the corners. I don't feel quite in the same, um, I don't feel quite in tune with the bike as of yet, but no doubt that'll get better. Uh, mirrors, lovely mirrors can see what you want. Uh, other points, uh, LED lights at the back, at the front, we've got LED on the front headlight. Uh, these aren't LEDs, but you could change them if you wanted to. Um, in terms of brakes, it's just a single disc on the front. However, I'm finding that that is, you know, sufficient. The braking power seems quite nice on this. It's odd jumping onto the Hardys because it seems a lot of them have a single disc at the front. Um, however, they seem to work, you know, whereas, you know, previously I've always kind of had the mindset of if it's above, you know, 600 cc, you know, uh, twin discs at the front, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, spoke wheels on this as well, as you can see, uh, front and back. Uh, but, 
But yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, jump back on and continue the ride, very much a real life uh, test route. Um, so catch you soon, cheers. Okay, so here on the street bop, this seating position is interesting. It's going to take uh, slightly longer to get used to, I think. So it's uh, mid controls on this. I feel my legs are bent quite a bit, being um, having quite long legs. My measurements um, are I'm six foot tall, uh, 33 inch inside leg, and I weigh about 90 kilos. And it feels slightly cramped um, on my legs. Interesting having the handlebars this high up as well. Never ridden a bike with handlebars uh, like this, so yeah. Um, not sure what I think of it yet. Um, I'll know more uh, later on in the ride once I've uh, once I've been on it a little bit. A lovely day for a ride today. We'll be taking this out on very much a real life test. Uh, we'll be going through town. Uh, out to the countryside to find some twisties, bit of dual carriageway, a few more twisty bits um, and then uh, bringing it back down. It is a wonderful sounding exhaust, really really lovely rumble we've got going on here. Which is nice when you're going through built up areas or, or trafficy areas shall we say, like this because uh, cars really do hear you. You have a lot of uh, presence on the road shall we say so in terms of the uh, dash and information we've just got this uh, little LCD screen in the center here you can flick between different settings and what it's showing you but I've got a gear indicator there I've got my RPM underneath then got my mile per hour and then I've got a fuel gauge on the uh, on the left mirrors uh, nice and high up really good they're, they're, they look quite small however perfectly perfectly suited for uh, seeing everything behind you got another Harley behind us Triumph Street Triple on the left you know a lovely sunny day out to be riding uh, probably gonna see quite a few bikers out on the road I think So with the uh, indicators on this, it's the same as the uh, Sportster 48 where I've got my right indicator on my right hand side, left on my left hand side and they are self cancelling. Uh, still not entirely sure what I think about them being left and right sided. I think it's because, you know, if I'm indicating uh, right, I, you know, I don't like to be, um, oh, I don't like to be releasing the, uh, I don't like to be using my throttle hand for that really. probably something you get used to um, but you know my initial impressions are I, I think I just prefer it all being here okay so through town pretty comfortably I uh, didn't get a chance to do any filtering unfortunately um, so we'll make sure we do some some of that when we get back but uh, let's get out to the countryside try and find some more fun roads to uh, to have a go on this on okay chance for a little bit of speed Definitely has great torque through the gears there, pulling away. A uh, bit of traffic, so we can't go too quick. However, it's still quite nice just to get used to a bike, especially with the handlebars being up. That's the first thing that I'm finding is, you know, a, a, a little bit odd and uh, taking me a moment to uh, kind of adjust to. It doesn't feel like the bike's quite as flickable, I think, because of my hand my uh, arms being up higher which I, I don't know if that's just a mental thing or not
I'm pretty sure the bike can go quicker through sections like that however the handlebars being higher up it's just kind of messing with my riding in terms of the way I think about riding I suppose something I'm sure you could get used to uh, just new for me and if you're not someone who's ridden with your handlebars up maybe something that you encounter as well oh lovely popping of the exhaust I really hope the sounds come through on the uh, microphone okay it's a microphone in my helmet so it, it may not come through as good as uh, as I want it to but um, it's it's a really really good sound lovely amount of popping you get in as well really like it okay chance to get up to speed no major problems on the power got a couple of sports bikes on the left who are going to filter through here that again so yeah a lot of wind and because of the way you're seated uh, you are very much like a sail on the bike so there's a lot of force pushing you back so you really do have to hold on to the handlebars there otherwise you could lose them but yeah in terms of power absolutely fine Okay, twistiest section. I won't talk through this, I'll just give you a chance to feel what it's like.
tighter than it was. Really, really great sound. I hope that's come through. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, you, you probably can ride it quite a bit quicker than I've been riding it there. I'm still getting used to the handlebars, as I've said probably too many times. Um, but it, it doesn't actually feel like the bike you really want to ride quick through bends anyway. sort of bike that feels more at home just sort of cruising along really that's for me anyway just kind of what I'm picking up and there's nothing wrong with that I love just cruising along on a bike so yeah I think this bike it's it's not really the sort of bike that you want to be doing uh, loads of tight uh, sharp bends on. I, I'm finding it's uh, a lot more enjoyable sort of you know doing the uh, long medium turns you know at the kind of uh, 50 to 60 mile per hour range. I'm finding that was very very comfortable. I'm sure you can throw it into tighter turns it's just for me it just doesn't feel quite right with the handlebars being up. Okay, quick blast up the hill. You, you can ride it quick it's um, probably just not quite as natural for me uh, riding it quick okay so concluding thoughts as uh, I'm uh, taking her back I'm still gonna do a bit of filtering once we get into the town but let's run through some of the other bits now so uh, firstly the engine uh, it, it's a wonderful wonderful engine um, lots of torque power comes on really nice the uh, throttle response feels very intuitive and natural uh, the only thing I don't like about this bike is the ergonomics of it uh, it's not as bad as it was when I first jumped on in terms of the angle of my hips uh, with my longer legs and the uh, mid controls but it doesn't feel quite right uh, same with the handlebars for me if this bike had full controls uh, and the handlebars were a little bit lower it would probably feel very different to me the seat is extremely comfortable, uh, no problems there at all. And that monoshock suspension at the back, uh, you know, it's great. I haven't really, I don't feel like I've been jarred around too much. There's obviously a lot of vibrations with the bike, which I think is probably very common with all Harleys, which is part of the, the Harley experience, I suppose. Um, but, you know, they're, they're nice vibrations, it feels good. Uh, it's very engaging riding it. Um, not too sure on the indicators. I, I, I think this is again, it's going to be a Harley thing non stop, you know, left on left, right on right. I think the thing I don't like about it is, you know, using the right indicator involves taking, a, taking my thumb off the throttle so I have, you know, less 
uh, less grip and control of the throttle, which I it, it just feels a little bit strange that um, something you'd probably get used to, no doubt. Um, it's just for me, it just it doesn't feel quite right initially. Um, I prefer it just to be on the left because it doesn't matter if my left hand's moving around all over the place, it's not going to affect the bike in any way. Uh, whereas over here, it's going to affect the bike. Okay, chance for a little bit of filtering here. Great sound on the exhaust. That's what you like. See, look at these cars moving now slightly. It's because they're hearing the exhaust and they're thinking, give him some space. Well, this person isn't. <laughs> Spoke way too soon. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up button. Maybe comment and say hello or subscribe for future content. Many, many thanks to the guys over at Harley and Maidstone. Great bunch of guys in there. Uh, really love the shop. So if you are interested in Harley, please do pop in and say hello. Uh, it's quite a nice place to go and you know spend some time actually. I was there this morning and uh, uh, you know loads of bikers around. They've got a burger van out front, which is uh, just perfect. And um, yeah, a nice place to be. So, thanks again, and uh, catch for the next one. Cheers. Bye.